Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our fourth lesson on vectors, whereby you are looking at our example number four, which is also a past KCC question done in 208, paper one, question number 19. So our example four reads that in the figure below, the vector AB is equals to vector P, which of course is indicated on the diagram. Then you're also given that the vector AD is equals to vector Q, which is also indicated on the diagram. Then you are also told that the vector DE is equals to a half of vector AB. We are further given that the vector BC uh, is equal to uh, two thirds, two thirds of vector uh, BD. So for me to interpret this ratio, I'm going to divide through uh, by BD. I also divide this other side by uh, the vector uh, BD so that our BD and BD will cancel out. So this one means that uh, the ratio of the vector BC to uh, the vector BD will actually be equal to 2 over 3. Or this one can also be indicated as the ratio of BC to BD will actually be equal to uh, 2 to 3. So this one gives us the direction of action of our um, given ratio. So the ratio is uh, from B towards D. So this is the direction of our ratio so that uh, this is actually the direction of our ratio from point B towards point D. Then uh, it's clear that the ratio of BC is actually 2. So this particular ratio is 2. Then we are told that uh, the ratio of BD now will be 3. Now remember BD is the whole line. Huh? So if this is 2, then it means uh, CD must be 1 so that when you take 2 plus 1, you'll get a total ratio of 3 for the line uh, BD. Now, having interpreted that particular ratio, we can move to part A of the question, whereby we are told to find, in terms of vectors P and Q, the vectors uh, BD. So this is uh, part A, Roman 1. They want us to find the value of the vectors uh, BD. So the vector BD will be given by, so we look for a root on the diagram, that gives us a complete triangle that has known values uh, for BD. So the starting point is B, the ending point is D. So the vector will be BA. So BD will be given by the vector uh, BA. So this will give us vector BA. So this will be BA. Then of course you are going to add the vector AD. So we'll add vector AD, which will be given by, so of course we don't have vector BA, but instead we have vector a b so uh the vector b a will just be the negative of vector a b because of the change of direction remember b a is moving from b towards a which is reversing the initial direction of a b hence the negative then you are going to add vector a d of course a d is moving in this direction which is a similar direction to the given uh, direction therefore this one will just be a positive vector uh, a d so this will be given by uh, the negative of vector AB. We are given as vector AB to be vector P. So this is the negative of uh, vector P. Then we are going to add the vector AD, which of course is vector uh, Q. So this is vector Q. But in vectors, it is always good to start with the positive. So this will be uh, vector Q, uh, then minus the vector uh, P. So that is... Uh, the value for the vector BD. Then we move to A Roman 2 of the question. So Roman 2, they want us also to express in terms of uh, vectors P and Q, the vector of BC. So vector BC uh, will actually be given by. So if we look at the ratios that we are given, of course, we are already given BC here. We are told that BC is two thirds of uh, BD. Therefore, I'm going to use the given ratio. So I'm told that BC is uh, two thirds, two thirds of vector uh, BD. But of course, we have already computed the value of vector BD in uh, A Roman one. Therefore, I'll simply substitute. So this will be given by uh, two thirds of the vector BD. We have found it as a uh, vector Q, a uh, vector Q minus the vector uh, P. Of course, if I open the brackets, I'm going to get two thirds. Uh, two thirds vector Q, then of course minus two thirds of vector uh, P. So that will be 
the value of vector uh, BC. Then I need to separate my working. So let me uh, use a line here to separate the two. Then of course, uh, I'll move to Roman 3 of the question. So Roman 3, they want us to find the value of uh, Roman 3, they want us to find the value of vector CD. So CD will actually be given by so CD, this is our CD, so its ratio is actually 1. Then remember CD is moving in the same direction with the originally given uh, ratio. So that means the direction will actually be positive. So the ratio of CD is actually 1. So this will be 1 divided by the total ratio of this line is 2 plus 1, which is actually a 3 of the vector BD of vector uh, B. Uh, D so this one will be so the ratio of CD will be 1 over the total ratio which is 3 of the vector BD then of course I already have the vector BD in A Roman 1 therefore I'll simply substitute so this will give us a third uh, into the vector BD we found it as uh, Q minus uh, P so this is vector Q then of course minus the vector P so if I open the brackets, I'm going to get a third, uh, a third vector Q, then of course minus a third, uh, a third vector uh, P. Then I move to Roman 4 of the question whereby I'm required uh, to find the value of vector AC. So they want us to find uh, the value of vector AC. So if we look on the diagram, AC can be found through AD plus a DC or we can also find it through uh, AB plus BC. So let me choose the root of AB plus BC. But even if you use the root of AD plus uh, DC, the answers should be the same. So AC will be given by uh, the vector AB. Then of course we are going to add the vector BC. So plus uh, the vector of uh, BC which will be given by, so our AC, uh, the vector AC will be equal to the value of vector AB, AB is actually vector P, so this one will be uh, the vector P, then we'll add the vector of uh, BC, we have already computed it uh, here in Roman 2, so this will be plus uh, 2 over 3, which is uh, BC, 2 over 3 uh, vector Q, then of course minus 2 over 3, the vector of uh, P. Then I'm going, I'm going to add the like terms, so this one will be, uh, so let me regroup them. So we have vector P here, then of course I'll add negative 2 over 3 uh, vector P, then of course I add 2 over 3 of vector uh, Q. So this will give us, uh, so remember here the coefficient is 1, huh? so it's like you are taking 1 minus 2 over 3, so if you take 1 minus uh, 2 over 3, you are going to get a third. Huh? So this one should give us a third. So this will be a third of vector uh, P, then of course plus 2 over 3 of vector uh, Q, 2 over 3 of vector Q. Then I'll separate my working here so that we move to uh, part B of the question, whereby we are told that given that S is equals to KCE, so this is a uh, part B. We are told that um, AC, AC is equal to KCE. Then where K is a scalar, find Roman 1, the value of K. So for us to find the value of K, I'll simply substitute the vectors that I have here. So vector AC, we need to substitute it. Of course, we have already computed it here in um, Roman 4. So that is part A, B, Roman 1 of the question. I'll simply substitute uh, the vectors in this particular equation that I'm given. So AC, we found it as a third. So this one is a third vector P, a third vector P plus a 2 over 3 of vector Q, which should be equal to K into a vector CE. So I need to find the value of vector CE. So for me to find CE, I need to connect uh, this particular two, that is uh, point C and E. So I'm going to connect uh, C and E. So if we look at what we have connected, it simply shows us that uh, CE will be given by CD plus DE. So this one will be the vector 
C, D, then of course we are going to add a D, E for us to find the value of vector C, E. So this will be C, D plus D, E. So which will be given by? So we are going to have a third. So this will be a third vector P, then of course plus 2 over 3 of vector Q, which should be equal to K uh, into the following. So the vector C, D, we have already computed it here. So this is the value of vector C, D which is actually a third, uh, a third of Q, a third vector Q, then minus a third of vector P. So a third vector Q minus a third vector P. Then you are going to add the value of vector um, D, E. So vector D, E, we are already given it here. D, E is a half of A, B. So this is a half, a half of vector A, B. Of course, vector A, B was vector P. So it will be a half of uh, vector uh, P. So which should give us, so we are going to have a third, uh, a third of vector P, then of course plus uh, two thirds of vector Q, which should be equal to, if I open, I can add the like terms here. So I need to add the P and vector P so that I'm going to have a K then into bracket. This will be a third, a third of vector Q. Then if I take negative a third plus a half, so negative, negative a third, then I add a half, negative a third plus a half, I'm going to get my answer as uh, 1 over 6. So this one will give me positive uh, 1 over 6 of vector P. So 1 over 6 vector P. So if I open the brackets, I'm going to have a third of vector P, then of course added to uh, two thirds of vector Q, which should be equal to uh, a, a third K vector Q, then of course plus one over uh, six, one over six K vector P. So if I want to find the value of K, I'm simply going to equate the coefficients of similar vectors. So if I equate the coefficients of P, this is the coefficient of P, then on this other side, this is the coefficient of P. So if I add the coefficients of, uh, if I equate the coefficients of P, I'm going to have the following. So I'll have a third uh, being equal to, the other coefficient of P is 1 over 6K. Therefore, if I want to find the value of K, I'll multiply through the LCM. So LCM is 6. I also multiply the other side by 6. Uh. So 6 and 6 will cancel. A 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 6, 2 times. Uh. So it simply means that K will actually be equal to 2. Remember that you can also use uh, the other equation, that is the coefficient for uh, the other vector, which is actually uh, Q. So if I use the coefficients for Q, I'm simply going to equate uh, this coefficient for Q and this other coefficient here for Q. So I'll, I'm going to have two thirds uh, being equal to a third of uh, K. So the LCM is K. So if I multiply through the LCM, so by 3, uh, that is by 3, which is the LCM, the 3 and 3 will cancel out, uh, 3 and 3 will cancel out. So similarly, you are seeing that K will as well be equal to 2. Therefore, our value of K will actually be equal to 2. Then we move to B, Roman 2 of the question. Uh, so for B, Roman 2, we are going to have the following. So for Roman 2, we are told to um, find the ratio. We are told to, we are required to find the ratio uh, in which C divides uh, A, E. So I'm simply going to use the given uh, equation. Huh? So this is uh, B Roman 2, B Roman 2. They want us to find the ratio in which C divides A, E. So remember, if C is dividing A, E, it means that the ratio that they want is uh, A, C to C, E. Because C is the one that is dividing, therefore it has to be in between. So for me to find that, I'm going to use this equation here. I was told that S is equals to uh, the K of CE. So if I substitute K, I'm going to have CE being equal to the value of K was 2. So this will be 2 CE, 2 CE. Then if I divide through by CE, I also divide through by CE. I'm going to get the following. So of course, CE into CE1, CE into CE one timer. So it means that the ratio of AC to CE will actually be equal to uh, 2 times 1, I'll get 2. Then of course on the diameter, I'm going to have 1. Therefore, the ratio of uh, AC to 
c e will actually be equal to a uh, two to one so that is the ratio that is required so in our next class we'll be looking at further examples on vectors thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified until next time this is kind tuition academy thank you very much